Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two conical burr grinders. On the left, I got the Baritza Encore, and then on the right, I got the Oxo. So first we're going to kind of take them apart and show you the insides, then we're actually going to grind some coffee with them and see how each one does. So the first thing is how you turn them on. This one has a momentary push button. When you let up, it stops, and then we got a switch. When you turn it on, but you have to turn it off. It doesn't stop automatically. On the OXO, we have a timer. So we can set it for 10 seconds, press the button. It's gonna grind for 10 seconds and it'll stop on its own. But I can also stop it manually. Next, how you determine what grind you want, you're gonna rotate the bean hopper. Same with this one, you're gonna rotate the bean hopper to whatever grind you'd like. OXO does have a metal thing that the coffee's gonna be ground into. Encore, this is a plastic. Now the way we take the bean hoppers off is a little different also. I like the OXO, we've got this lever, we're gonna turn it to the unlock position, then this just lifts straight up, but it also cuts off, it turns off the beans coming out, there's a little gate valve there. Over here on the Baritza, you do have to turn it all the way to this spot right here with the arrow, then it's simply gonna lift straight up. Now if you have coffee beans in here, they are gonna fall out. Okay, so on the Baritza, you've got this uh, rubber like funnel here that you're gonna take off, now this white thing, it just lifts up. This is part of the conical burr grinder. Now you're not supposed to get this wet or it will rust. Now you have this big wing nut. You're never supposed to take that off. Don't loosen that. That's what that looks like. Now over here on the OXO, we've got this little lever. You're going to rotate this to the left and then this just pulls straight out. So here's kind of a close up look of each one. A little different. And then here's kind of a close up look of this. And then when we turn them over, there's what they look like. Now, as far as putting everything back together, I do find the OXO just a little bit easier to put back together. This one's okay. You got to line up that red bar with this red bar. And this again, this just kind of sits there. You got to kind of push it down a little bit. Now, getting this on can be a little tricky. It's a funnel. You're going to put it on over those ears and it just sits there. Now the on-car, you're going to find this, this line here, line it up with that arrow. you got to line it up. you got to kind of push down, and then it'll start to rotate. It can be a little tricky sometimes. OXO, again, this is in the lock position, so you're just going to find there's a detent for it. Push down a little bit and turn this to the, to the unlock position. Okay, I've got the OXO filled up. Let's see if this one holds just as much. You can see the OXO does hold a little bit more coffee. Okay, first let's test fine. We can go all the way over here. Let's go to two and we'll go to two on this one. Again, I gotta turn the switch on, hit the start button. Okay, this one stopped automatically. This one you gotta turn the switch off. Okay, in the OXO, we've got this nice metal container. The lid I usually is snapped on like that. But here's how it did. Pours out real easy. I like that. Not a whole lot of static electricity. Baritza. Let's go ahead and dump it out. Okay, so here's the bar Bartetza. Very nice. The Oxo. You know, it also did a good job. You know, this one's probably a little bit finer, actually. But the, you know, the OXO did a really good job. It's very consistent. Let's jump up to a medium grind right in the middle. 20. Start. Okay. Turn it off. OXO. Let's see how it did. This is going to be like for a normal coffee maker, a medium grind. Starting to get a little bit of static electricity. And same over here, starting to get a little bit of static electricity. About the same amount of static electricity. Okay, the Encore looks pretty consistent for a medium grind. Let's go over the OXO. I think the OXO does a little bit better job at the medium level. Okay, let's go all the way coarse. 40. They're different numbers, but you, all the way over is 15 on the OXO for coarse. Start. Okay, let's turn them off. Let's see how the OXO did. All right, this is as coarse as it gets. All right, 
Paint, Encore. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty chunky there. Okay, so I can tell, you know, again, the OXO is a little bit more consistent towards the, you know, the medium to coarse. The Encore, these are pretty big chunks, so I might have more range. I can get it pretty, pretty big chunks on the Encore. Okay, so I really do love the OXO. It retails for $99. This Baretza Encore retails for $150. Now, I... A viewer told me about this one, and I looked into it, and yeah, it's definitely very popular. So I went ahead and bought one, bought both of these with my own money. The Encore, this thing really shines down low for espresso. You can really dial in an espresso shot. You know, the OXO, you're getting okay down at the fine. It does okay there. This one, the OXO really shines around the medium and the coarse. I think you, you end up with a more consistent grind. Encore does okay with the medium grind, but again, the OXO really does better. So for a normal drip coffee maker, OXO, espresso, probably the Encore. You know, again, it's a manual, so you're going to be manually turning it on and off, but it does have this button here. You know, I do like the auto, but OXO does it in seconds, you know. So you got to kind of remember how many seconds you need for the amount of coffee you want ground. I tend to like this one. This one did tend to build up a little stack electricity. Typically, it doesn't build up that much. Must be this coffee ground. I have heard people say you put like a drop of water in there or something. I haven't tried that yet, but this one, again, there is no lid or nothing. So it's just, you know, and again, it's, it's static cling is about the same, I, but I typically find the metal container works better. One thing about the OXO I don't like is the cord. The cord is really stiff. So it can be kind of cumbersome when you're putting it on the counter. It kind of sticks in awkward positions sometimes. Now the ba Barat Baratza has a longer cord, five feet. OXO three feet, but the OXO does come apart so much easier. I, you know, I found this to be a little tricky first putting it together, um, it, but again, it does a really good job. So as long as you get used to that, OXO seems just very easy. And I like taking, being able to take the bean hopper off and not have to dump my beans out. So again, I really appreciate everybody leaving their comments. I would not be doing this review without somebody leaving comments. If there's a coffee grinder you'd like me to see me review, leave them in the comments down below. Now, I do have my own coffee coming out, but I'm getting really low on it. This is my first bag that we, we um, roasted down at St. Louis with a coffee company. We're working on bag design now. It's going to be for sale. It's whole bean coffee. I just didn't have enough to do this review with. It's also going to be released in a K-cup version. Now, if you want to see the latest updates on the coffee behind the scenes and the free giveaways, check out my Facebook page, Just a Dad Videos group page. Um, in there, you'll find where I'm going to do the giveaways and behind the scenes, how I make the, the videos and things. Underneath the video, you'll see in the see more in the description right down here. Click on that, you'll see the links. There'll be links to these on Amazon. Again, I am affiliate. Um, if you click on the link, they probably won't cost you anymore, but I get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. Also, there'll be a link to the um, Facebook group page. So if you click on there, that'll take you there and you can subscribe to it. I really do appreciate everybody's help. If you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, just thank you so much to everybody for this. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.